All right, favorite verse, favorite line, oh my favorite hip hop rap line. Oh, well, uh, like, first, not even favorite, first one that comes to mind, like the one that's like, if if anybody was to ask that question, yeah, what would it be? I don't do black music. I don't do white music. I make fight music for high, high school, school kids. kids. I put lives at risk when I drive like this. I put wives at risk with a knife like this. Ooh. You probably think I'm in your tape deck now. I'm in the back seat of your truck with duct tape, tape. stretched out. Duck the fuck way down. Waiting to straight jump out. Put it over <laughs> your mouth and grab you by the face. What now? Oh, Jeez. want me to watch my mouth? How? Take my fucking eyeballs out and turn them around? I'll burn your fucking house down. Circle around and hit the hydrant so you can't put your burning furniture out. I'm sorry. There must be a mix up. Want me to fix up lyrics while our president gets his dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> Slim Shady. Rick it, Rick it. You know how pun has dead in the middle of little, little Italy, Italy. Italy. Little did we know yeah. we riddle some middlemen that didn't do diddly. Eminem had a whole verse yeah. like that yep. with Renegade. Since yeah. I'm in the position to talk to kids and they listen, I ain't no politician, politician but, but I'll kick them with in a minute. You see, they call me a menace, and, menace, and if the shoe fits, I wear it. But if it don't, then y'all yeah, swallow the, the truth, truth and bear it. Now, who's the king of these real ludicrous looking the lyrics? lyrics look at the hair at the title. To keep Put the youth in the stairs, using his views and his merits. But there's a huge in the parents. They're saying you shouldn't hear it. Maybe it's hatred, I spew. Maybe it's food for the spirit. Maybe it's beautiful music. I made for you to just cherish, but I'm the baby of the spirit. the view to the mirror. He has a motherfucking drug addict like you didn't experiment, nah, nah. That's, That's when you start, start to stare at who's in the mirror and see yourself as a kid, kid again. And hey, you get embarrassed, and I got nothing to do but make you look stupid as parents. You fucking do it as you bet. You couldn't do it in marriage. And do you have any clue what I had to do to get here? Come on. I don't think you do, so stay tuned and keep your ears loaded to the stereo, because here, here we go. go. Rick it, Rick it, Rick it. This is for this is sinister. Mr. Kiss My Ass. Okay, can I give a heart? You better fucking go first, Jay. Because you are not following that, bro. Fat, but he had some nice, like, back to the wall, ashy knuckles, pockets filled yes. with a lot of lint. Not a cent. He had to rewrite like, his shit, man. Honorable mention of best lines, because that verse came to mind. But the best line I'm going to give you, and then I want to know yours. I got blood on my hands and there's no remorse. I got blood on my dick because I fucked a corpse. <laughs> That's the hardest bar. DMX, blood of my blood. I can't say the rest of it. <laughs> I'm a nasty. When you pass me, look me in the eye. Tell me to my fucking face that you're ready to die. <laughs> you, like, you needed to, if you needed to act tough, right? Like you were the jester in the hood too, right? Like you, so you didn't want to fight, but you had to put up this shield. So it's like, don't fuck with me. If you needed to get into that mindset to protect yourself, you just wanted to put on some DMX like that. That was like. <laughs> I'll Shut them down. <laughs> like, what? Amazing. You don't want people to get into their DMX bag, man. No. Stay away. So please, your uh, your most memorable verse and most memorable line. Well, the one that always comes to mind is like Inspector Dick's verse in Triumph. Oh. Like out the gate. Ooh. What was it? Sorry, I missed it. It's Inspector Dex Wu-Tang. Uh, from Wu-Tang, his opening verse in Triumph. Obviously, now as a comedian, I always look at everything from a comedic standpoint now. The lyric go goes... I bomb atomically. Socrates' philosophies and hypotheses can't define how I be dropping these mockeries. Mm. Lyrically performed armed robberies flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. I'm like, ooh, these are eloquent raps. You know what yes. I mean? Like, damn. But then later on in life, I'm like, from a comedic perspective, <laughs> like, he comes out the gate, I bomb atomically. I'm like, whoa, you must suck. How can yeah. you bomb atomically? But he's like, ooh, that's a bad bomb. <laughs> Socrates, philosophies, and hypotheses can't define how I be dropping these mockeries. I'm like, oh, so you're making a mockery. Huh? You're not even doing anything. Proper. It's just you're just making a mockery of this rap shit. And he goes, lyrically performed armed robberies flee with the lottery. Possibly they spotted me. Can you imagine lyrically performing armed robbery? Like no guns, you just use the <laughs> lyrics to steal and rob a bank. Like you run in, like everybody get down and stick around, cause I'm profound with the sound, baby. I get oh down, and please don't hurt me with your words. <laughs> it's like we'll give you everything. Uh, so, and that's where the comedic mind goes nowadays. But like when I was young, I'm like, yo, these rhymes and bars are so fucking profound. I like yo. it. Lyrical armed robbery. Lyrically performed armed robbery. <clears throat> Incredible. That energy that you were getting from Wu Tang versus was truly like lyricism in a sportsman like, athletic, competitive, homies all in the room trying to 
do their own style, but also low key impress each other and also low key compete with each other. Like you were getting like true sportsmanship <laughs> in hip hop. So that that, pro- <laughs> that probably came from him just being like, that's just fucking sick. Like, it's a bunch of goons just trying to sound smart in the hood. You know, that's all it was, man. Like, yo, yo, peep, yo, peep the science, God. Yo, 